Today we're going to put a, a non Excite Pro template into Excite Pro. This is our sample. It's made up of several different images, which we need to figure out how to make those work in Excite Pro. So I think we can probably have a header panel, uh, a main background, including this right here, and then a left panel background, including this color right here with the little line on the side. And then for the footer, we'll come into here somewhere and use this right here. So looking at the images that come with the template, I can see there's a the nav tab background, which is that very top this piece here. We have the header. which is this piece here. Then I believe there's a little image that'll be the little wraparound part right here, which would be called text area top. So I'm gonna grab all three of those and put them into Photoshop and put those three together as one image. So here are three images, the top nav, the header, and the little wraparound piece that goes underneath the header. So I'll make a new image, 752, which is the width of all of these images. It could give us some room to work with. First we have the green top. We'll bring that down here. Move it over like so, a little bit more. Okay, we can get rid of him. I'll grab the next image. Somewhere in there. One more, there it is. Get rid of that one. As our last image goes on the bottom. Now that we have our three images together, we can go ahead and trim it. You can crop it or however you want to do it in your own program. There we go, so we'll save that to the desktop and load it up as a header. Okay, now back in Excite Pro, page layout section in the header panel area, we'll select that image we just created. And select it from our hard drive. Header new. So it's 752 by 274. So I'm going to go to advanced and go to 274 zero padding. So you can see that we have the top, the center part, and that little wraparound piece for a header. Now for the center part, there is, this is one image that goes all the way across as a little line with this color all the way through to here without any of those, these boxes or the writing in it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop it and slice it right in this area so we'll have one piece that goes from here to here and then one piece that goes from here to here. So back to Photoshop. So looking at the images, I see a text area BG, which is 752 pixels, which looks like it should be the one. So I'll drag that into Photoshop. And we need to figure out how or, or where to slice it. So let's go back to our template here and we have this image here. Sign up for our free course now. 
So let's go find that one, which is right here. And it says it's 211 pixels wide. So we'll do about 230 pixels or they're about. It's so back to Photoshop. 230 should be about right there. And we have 230 over here and the remainder over here. So we'll grab our slicing tool, slice from guides, and we'll add these back into Excite Pro for the left panel and the main panel. So back into Excite Pro, let's go to our left panel and grab that image. Select it from our hard drive. And text area background left is 232. So on our width, we'll set that at 232. Go down to our main panel. Grab that image, which was text area background right. It's 520 pixels. So let's set, set the width at 520. Click preview to see how we're doing. Now we can see it looks good, but we're tiling over here because I still have the right panel in XI Pro active. So let's get rid of that. Right panel, go down to zero. Preview again. There, our color looks good. Everything's lining up. This is our left panel and our main panel. Let's go ahead and work on the footer. Now in our example, we have our footer image, plus we need the bottom wraparound image also that goes right here. So we'll combine both of those in Photoshop and bring it into Excite Pro. So I've combined those two images for the footer just in the same fashion I did it for the top here. So down to the footer section, I want to include, I want to include the page footer. We'll grab that image, which is new footer, or footer new. Here it is. It's 752 by 72 pixels tall. So on the height of the footer, we'll put 72 pixels. Click preview, see how we're doing. Everything lines up good. Now let's get some background color for our um, margins over here on the left and the right. So looking at our image folder again, I see a background JPG, which I will bring that into Excite Pro. So we're in Excite Pro page layout section, page margin section. I'll select that image, which was background JPG, or B BGJPG. Click Preview. You can see here it is. It's tiling, so we can get rid of the tiling. Back to Excite Pro on the other tab, Website Settings, Advanced Image Tiling, Page Margins. We want to tile horizontally, left to right, with uh, with a scroll. Now when we click preview, our top image here is good. See how it fades from, it has a dark and it fades to the light. So we need to find this color. So I'll use Color Mania to find out what that color is right there. I'll copy that. Control C. Back into Excite Pro. Page Layout tab. Instead of white, I'm going to use that color. Now when we preview, there we go. Okay, so now we have the panels all laid out. 
the, the margins are laid out. So now we can start adding pages and filling in our content.